peeps, welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> and I'm behind on a couple videos, so I want to apologize for that. The last videos I did was like weeks 31, 32, 33. So I'm going to do 34, 35, 36, 37. <sighs> And hopefully I, I'll get to record um, the what's in my hospital bag because when I had Deuce, I had to do it after the fact because I'm such a late person. But I just want to get this, you know, get caught up. I started doing Vlogmas and then I realized that I really don't have a lot of time. It's not like I'm always doing something to record anything. Sorry. So, um, you know, I'll do Vlogmas when I can. Um, I do have a lot of information for you guys, so I don't want to make this too long, so I'm just going to jump right in and start with week 34. Wow, that's the last time? Wait a second, guys, one second. So sorry, you guys. Okay, so week 34, I was, uh... That was all the way back in November, November 14th, to be exact. Um, nothing really happened yet. Or, you know, nothing was happening then. So I don't really have anything to update you guys on. So I'm just going to show you the picture of the size of the baby, read the definition, and go on. So it says your baby is the size of cantaloupe. He was the size of a cantaloupe. Uh, November 14th, so we can only imagine what he is now. Uh, for this week, it says, your baby now weighs about 4 and 3 fourths pounds, about the size of a cantaloupe, and he is almost 18 inches long. His fat layers, which help regulate his body temperature once he's born, are filling him out, making him rounder. His skin is also smoother than ever. Her cen his central nervous system is maturing, and his lungs are continuing to mature as well. If you've been nervous about preterm labor, you'll be happy to know that babies born between 34 and 37 weeks who have no other health problems generally do fine. They may need a short stay in the neonatal nursery and may have a few short-term health issues, but in the long run, they usually do as well as full-term babies. So I'm not sure if you guys know this, but once, I'm not sure how long ago, but it used to be that full-term was considered 37 weeks. They no longer consider that full term anymore and they have changed it to 38 weeks and up i don't see what the difference is i have not read into it but i'm 37 weeks today and i'm saying i'm full term so anyway instead of jabbling on oh um week 35 i was uh, 35 weeks november 21st and it says your baby was the size of a honeydew melon and for 35, it says, your baby doesn't have much room to maneuver now that he's over 18 inches long and tips the scale at five and a quarter pound. Because it's so snug in your room, he isn't likely to be doing somersaults anymore, but the number of times he kicks should remain about the same. His kidneys are fully developed now, and his liver can process some waste products. Most of his basic physical development is now complete, and he'll spend the next few weeks putting on weight. So that was week 35. And I had not had an appointment yet. So, um, yeah, that's about it for those two weeks. I'm not going to drag this on anymore. I'm doing these, like, right behind each other. So, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll see these and be like, wow, she's wearing the same shirt. Her hair's the same. So, this is 34, 35. I'm going to stop this one do 36. And I'm going to stop that one and do 37. And then we'll be caught up. And hopefully I can get, like, I can get this one out tonight. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you want to see any videos, mommy videos, anything at all, put that in the comment box below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Comment, like, subscribe. If you are new here, click the notification bell so you know when I upload. upload. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video.